effect on Fred as it tracks closer to our country. That's exactly right, Martin. I've been keeping a very close eye on the Atlantic, watching it spread as it moves across the Dominican Republic. It will continue to do so for the next several hours. Eventually, it's going to move across different parts of Hispaniola, Cuba, and eventually it could reach Florida as we head into the weekend. So something to watch very closely in the coming days. We've already seen flooding, as we were just talking about in that video there, and uh, this storm actually could weaken because it is moving over land for a little while, but as it moves back over water, it could re-strengthen back into a tropical storm. So we're going to continue to follow the track as it again comes near the Gulf of Mexico. It could actually intensify and reach Florida or somewhere along the Georgia coastline as a tropical storm again sometime during the weekend. Now there's some question marks, of course. This is still a ways out of how this storm is going to interact with land and how it's going to move toward the Appalachians. But right now there is a pretty good consensus on the model guidance that this storm is going to at least bypass the Appalachians or get very close. While we're not going to be dealing with any major wind by that point as this storm will have weakened then, we're still going to get some rain and we could see some localized flooding issues at least into next week. So that's something we're going to keep an eye on here at home. Really in the meantime though, any rain we do get uh, the next few days into next week is overall going to be beneficial. We've just got to watch for those locally heavy downpours. Abnormally dry conditions still have a hold over our area. We're not in a drought, but we still could use a little rain. We've seen this very hit or miss type stuff, but even now, the radar is pretty quiet across our area. We had some showers and thunderstorms earlier, again, some locally heavy rain, but not everyone has seen it. And that pattern will stick with us over the next several days. High pressures anchor to our southeast. That's continuing to draw in this warm and humid southwesterly flow. So we're going to stay hot, humid, just these pop-up showers and storms through Friday. Then we've got this cold front that's going to be inching our way. That could bring us a slightly better chance of wider spread showers and storms as we head into the weekend, especially Saturday. But really, it's still going to be kind of hit or miss. Tropical moisture will continue to plague us into next week. So while not everyone guaranteed to see those heavy downpours, on occasion we could get them, and those could cause localized flooding issues. They can quickly overwhelm creeks, uh, ditches, poor drainage areas. So keep an eye on things if you live in a poor drainage area. Otherwise, it's just been hot and humid. For most, we're in the 80s, if not the 90s. Today, it feels hotter in a lot of places because of the humidity, and that's not going to change in the coming days either. Tomorrow, again, it looks a lot like today. We're waking up 60s, 70s, heading out the door. We'll be in the 80s and 90s by the afternoon. Could again see a stray shower storm. The good news is that front coming in for the weekend will cool us down. So while we will stay unsettled with showers and storms with that tropical moisture into next week, we're not as hot we will be back to seasonable normals for this time of year. Hey, stick with us. We'll be right back with sports right after this break. Hannah Howard is in next.